Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm heading east. Down Nine Mile. They call it Frank's Canyon. This is Nine Mile Road over here, and this is the Frank Canyon Road right there. So I've never been down that way. This is as far down as I've ever been on this road. Now here you go. See if I can capture this. This was part of the original wall. See how they got the mud packed inside there? A layer of rock, mud packed in there. So we officially have part of the original wall. Now I'll pull back and show you. This whole section right here. So this is what always gives me the goosebumps. A thousand years ago, human hands touched that, built that, packed it in there. And to this day, we can see it. And yet we'll have trouble building a house that stands for 50 years without needing to be tore down. Just kind of looking down through here, seeing if maybe we might get lucky, but I have a feeling if anything was here at one point, it's been picked over pretty well. But to have this piece of the wall still standing after all these hundreds of years. I'm gonna look one more time. And you can see where they stacked rocks in there to wedge it up. So we're gonna continue down the cliff face a little bit. So there's, there's Beulah down below us. So they're up here quite a ways. And the cliff goes up. <laughs> Hopefully this place is fairly geologically stable. All right, so just for chits and grins, I'm gonna climb up. One-handed, this is a little more difficult than one would think. But you know, I did it. Now we're up on a second level here. There was the wall that we were at. Coming down the canyon just a couple of feet this way. Now, I see this up here, but it's a dry stack and there's no mud. I'm gonna say this is all recent. I will, however, say that that is proof that there was a wall here originally, and that is part of it. You can see where they added mud and rocks to stabilize it underneath. 
and that is missing from the upper structure but the base course you can see is there part of the we'll go down there later on you can see how it's level I think this all based off of rocks was part of their living platform down through here but let me climb up here see what I can find So, disregarding the new structure here, I'm confident in saying that there was a wall there. This is the view they had. How many of you would like to have that view as a, at your front room? I don't see any evidence well, there's some rocks waiting to come down on top of us of smoke here though so my guess is this was potentially a storage area maybe as opposed to a living area with a fire and you know beds okay so I'm gonna go down Bear with me. I'm sitting my butt down. There you go. But again, I'm going to go with that's where the original wall was. And then they put modern wall above it. People always got to do that. Go down here a little ways. I mean, you can see there's a hundred percent there was something up here, cliff dwelling. But it wasn't such that they were putting fires up against it. So they had the structures built out, and the fires were inside the structures away from the wall. I am seeing no fire blackening. We're going to go back here a little ways. So there's our fourth, that may be the third, I believe that's our fourth geo-survey mark I've seen. So those seem to be prevalent in surveyed areas. Okay, so we've got that upper structure, probably a granary. I'm going to go with the granary now that I think about it. You can see the location that it's in. In my opinion, that has all the earmarks. But what do I know? Now we're going to come down here. You're going to see that wall. So we were up here. And we stood here. And this was a flat area. You come down here, and you can see mud, leveling rocks. I 
You can see mud packed inside there. So this was part of the original wall. Oh good. Oh, this is exciting. Look at this. This is a pack of mud right down through here. Here's the sandstone. And this is another level of sandstone that was placed on top of it. Now, if you want to really be a naysayer, you can say that's just natural dirt going in there, but If it was, you wouldn't see such large particulates. By the time they trickle down through the rocks here, all you would have would be fine silt and it would be a really, a really fine sand or clay like this, as opposed to something that's got a lot of aggregates into it. So you can see this was mud packed here, here, and I would say this is probably even where the mud has got washed away, but the rocks are still there. So I try it this way. This is the size of the structure for comparison. Just me. I'm the cowboy and cowboy and the accountant. And you can see it's a fairly large structure. And the wall is built up real nice down through here. This. <laughs> we didn't walk out here, but look at this. Oh, wow. Any of you having doubts still? I'm getting excited, sorry. Talking loud. I'm gonna shut down for a second and take some pictures with my big camera and then I'm gonna continue this on. This is hand packing, look at this. Is that not gorgeous? <laughs> That's magnificent. I can't believe how exciting that is to actually see that after all these years. So, took out my big camera, taking some pictures, and wondering, you know, where that big wall went. Whoops, sorry, let me get you back down here to, there we go, get you back down into here. And then you realize that while I was taking the pictures, I was standing on what remained of the wall. Pretty substantial. And then if the geo survey mark wasn't enough, can you see the old petroglyphs in amongst the modern petroglyphs? Oh, I haven't figured this thing out yet. There we go. Now we're going to come out.
There's another one. Look at how faint that one is. So, they were here. This all down here was the former wall that used to be up there. So I'm going to continue further down. See if there's anything else. Spoiler alert, there is. Stay tuned for part three of Cliff Structures in Nine Mile Canyon. Thanks for traveling along with me. Be safe.